And as we go to verse 6, the Bible says that when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had now, he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Don't forget about one who was passive. But look at something else about this man. Verse 7. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. <laughs> this is one of the greatest mistakes I've seen among young people growing up as a young person. I've seen people of my age years back who waited five years, ten years, twelve years, eventually all their lives for the promise of a man. I will take you abroad. Don't worry. Many of them liquidated their lives. Their mates were enrolling in university. They said, no, I'm not going. My uncle promised me. That my friend that just left promised me. That my cousin that just left promised me. Many of them today, they are nowhere because they claim that they found no man. This man, do you want to remain whole? Yes, I want to remain whole. Please help me. That is what he needed to have said. I said, no, listen, <laughs> you don't understand this thing. Life is so competitive. Is it the way the situation is in Nigeria? It's so it's so hard, it's so tough, it's so difficult. I have no helper. I have no man. People dependence. I have no man. Now don't get me wrongly. If God is going to raise anybody up, he's going to use people. God doesn't come from heaven to do things by himself. When he needed to save the world, he came as a man. Because this earth belongs to man. It's an eternal inheritance of man. It's man that has authority and not even God. Not that God does not have power. By choice, God gave the authority of the earth to man. And he will not take it back from man. You know, I tell people ask questions. Why is God allowing this? Why is God allowing that? God has no choice. Because it's a man's world. So if he wants to effect a change in this world, he will look for men and women who will be willing for him to use to bring about that change. Hallelujah. Are you following me here? Amen. And so, don't get me wrong at all. God will use people. We're talking about people's dependence. We're talking about you living the responsibility of your life. And of the outcome of your life to the hand of a man. Anybody, for that matter. So for this man, because of his dependence on people, dependence on people, he told Jesus that I have no man to put me into the pool. And I always tell young people, these are things I learned late in my life. But the wise man said that the more you look up to people, the less you are able to stand on your two feet. Are you paying attention to me here? So the more you look up to people, the less you are able to stand on your two feet. And that says, the more you struggle to stand on your two feet, the less you will need people. Hallelujah. And so, we need to realize that. But all as young persons, that listen, <laughs> I am the one that needs to take responsibility for my life. It's my life. Yes, God is going to use people. God will definitely use people. But God says, don't throw your dependence on any man. Trust me to use whom I have chosen to bless your life. Amen? And God knows how to arrange things in your favor. Should I say amen now? Huh? I said God knows how to arrange things in your favor. In the name of Jesus. And he's making a way for you. 
in the glorious name of Jesus. So don't be people dependent. Number one, you deal with passivity. And number two, stop depending on people. Hallelujah.